Nightmare Toys. That's right. Okay, people. That is the Stratosphere Hotel. And right down the street from it is this beautiful place called Nightmare Toys. And I want to say that we've been here before. We've done a video on this place. Uh, but what is different about doing a video about it right now? I will tell you what's different. And for some reason, my screen is acting up on me. But that's okay. We're here in Las Vegas at a place called Nightmare Toys. We've done a video before, but we're doing another one. And I'll tell you why. Because since we were here last, they have opened a restaurant. See it? A horror themed restaurant. And we want to go inside of Nightmare Toys. We want to see what cool stuff they have. If you are opening a themed restaurant, they've got one now. And then they have like one of the coolest horror retail stores in the whole entire world, bar none. And we're gonna go in, we're gonna check it out, we're gonna roll through and see what they're selling and see if we can ask them if they can tell us some of the hottest sellers. And then we're gonna go check out their bar, restaurant, horror themed. Are you ready to go? Let's go. So, as you see here, <laughs> and if you notice, like, they didn't put anything horror on there. It's kind of inconspicuous, you know. And you would go in and of course you'd be killed. Um, and there we go. It's called the Nightmare Cafe Bar and Grill. There we go. And then of course they have painted the outside of it with the brand Nightmare Toys. And they're open Monday through Saturday till 7 p.m. And if you want to go to their website, it's right there. It's really close to Stratosphere Hotel. And hello, it's me again. I came here last year. We made a TikTok on your place and we did over a million views. Hey, so let me ask you, cause we're gonna put a video up on the Haunt World YouTube channel. Uh, what is the five best sellers in here? Uh, it keeps changing. Yeah, it's kind of always more. Well, what, what do you think? Because, you know, like our channel is for like a lot of haunted house owners and stuff. But uh, So what is it that, you know, like you think on the horror collectible side are the like most popular? Um, definitely on the masks. Masks. Uh, and you have a lot of them. We do. And which one would be the most popular? The Michael Myers. Of course. Okay, so what, what's behind Michael Myers? Uh, behind Michael Myers... Terrifier? I have a retail store. We sold a lot of Terrifiers. I was, yeah, when we have Terrifier, we sell that pretty well. Uh, probably the Freddy Kruegers. Uh, we just got in a pinhead mask. You know what we sold a lot of was... Uh, was... Um, uh, golly, what am I... You know, Jeepers Creepers. Ooh, we, we can't get that stuff in for something. You can't get it in? No, I got, we have the, the uh, axe props, but we can't get the masks or the... Hey, can I ask you a question? Are people really buying Halloween 3 collectibles? Yeah. yeah yes? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, there's a big fan base for it. And I noticed these like awesome uh, purses over here. Do those like fly off the shelf? Yeah. yeah. Which one's the most popular? Probably Michael. Probably Michael. <laughs> I would... One in these uh, like coffins. Yeah. To me, the Creature in Black Lagoon is the coolest. It does pretty good too. There's a big fan base for Creature. But what, what would we be like a, a like outside of that, like a collectible, like a toy? What's the most popular toys? Is it they do pretty good with like the Chucky dolls? Chucky they do dolls. Pretty good. Um, uh, the NECA figures. Yeah, NECA figures. Uh, Kandarian Dagger in the book do recently. Yeah. What's the best seller that's like under 10 bucks? Probably blind bags. Yeah, the blind bags. What is a blind bag? Uh, just whatever's on the cardboard there. It's what's potentially in the bag. You just have to hope you get what you want. Who sells those? Uh, it's a company called Monogram. Monogram? Yeah. And so you don't know what's inside of it? Nope. Nope. Blind, bag. blind bags, and how much do you sell them for? Uh, they're 
roughly five to six dollars a piece. Wow. Uh, what about keychains? Uh, when we have good ones, we sell them. Yeah, when we have good ones. These knives are cool. Oh, it looks like you have a gremlin signed by somebody. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, signed by Zach Gallagher. Really? It was Billy. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have some sort of scream mask here. No, is that from... Uh, uh, it's from Haunt. Haunt. Yeah, that, I meant Haunt. I should, At first, they have like a whole line of masks. Yeah. I don't even know if I've seen that movie. It's a good movie. You liked very, it? Very, very underrated movie. What is your favorite horror movie? Jaws. Jaws? So do you consider Jaws a horror movie then? Yeah. Do you I, consider Jurassic Park a horror movie? No. Why not? There's same thing. Monsters running around eating people. <laughs> well, it, it, it's the tension well, that Jaws builds up. Where Jurassic Park, it's more, you know, I, the spectacle. I would argue if you say Jaws is a horror movie, Jurassic Park's a horror movie. I mean, there's horror elements. Do you sell anything Jurassic Park in here? Uh, just the blind bag. Um, We've got the little Revo figures and some pins. Now, what about Scream? Is that huge? Yeah. When, when a movie is out. Well, there's a movie out now. Yeah. And yeah. you find that to be huge? Yeah, we sell mm -hmm. a lot of costumes. Yeah. A lot of masks. And, and let me ask you a question, because I asked you this last time. I already know the answer. But, like, I came in here last year. We made a video on your place, and we did a TikTok. We have a huge TikTok page, but... Um, I asked you point blank, I was like, how in the world, can, and I know you're in Vegas and there's a lot of, you know, turnaround on, but like, how do you get away with doing a, a horror only themed place? And how, like, how do you promote it? And what was your answer? Oh, geez. I don't know if I remember or not. Yeah, I was out. <laughs> because a lot has changed. There's yeah. a lot of horror based places now here in Vegas. Yeah, but yeah. like when I came in here, like you guys said, TikTok. Yeah, TikTok, yeah, TikTok is, Instagram. People uh, come in here, we, make TikToks, we, Instagrams. Yeah. Uh, we have a YouTube page. Yeah, we and, and so you really encourage people to come in and film it and then mm -hmm. promote the yeah. place. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Filming, photos. And videos. that has become like a huge part of your business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, the fans really, they do a lot of the legwork for us and yeah. spread the word. Yeah, you know, it's any kind of horror enthusiast that knows another horror enthusiast kind of chains it off and we get some customers out of them. Is there any other horror based places in Vegas? Uh, you've got the escape rooms, like the Saw escape room, yeah. the It one. You've got sliced pizza besides Saw, which was like horror themed yeah. pizza. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zach Baggins. Yep, Zach Baggins. Uh, you've got Hellbound Horror, which is like a boutique style they carry older horror merch instead of new stuff. So. Where's that at? Uh, Sahara and I couldn't tell you. Maybe towards. Maryland. It's called Hellbound. Hellbound uh, HHC or something like that. Hellbound Collectibles. Yeah, Hellbound yeah. Collectibles. Hmm. So and then we have Tom Devlin's in Boulder City. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been there. That guy's great. Yeah. I see you sell makeup. Is that a big seller? Not really. Not really. Uh, Halloween time. Um, do you find that like from a local standpoint that you get oh, flooded with customers uh, around October? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of to put, if people are traveling in, they tend to stop here. We've become like a tourist spot now. And I noticed that, uh, that you also added a restaurant. That's why I came back because okay. how is that going? It's going good. And so it's a horror themed restaurant. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like, um, Bar and grill, so almost like a sports bar, but or yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. Man, your place is like so amazing. Terrifier has become such a huge hit all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Art's definitely one of the next big guys out there. Has uh, has any uh, celebrities, like you know, people who've made horror movies, just stop in here out of curiosity? Yeah. Like yeah. which ones? Yeah. We've had what, Lee Waddell, the original stunt guy for Ghostface. He dropped in with uh, Tony Cicere, who uh, Tony did a lot of stunt work in the 80s. He was a burn guy, so like Freddy Krueger burns, uh, 
I'm not sure at all what. Right. It was the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Yes, Puff Stay Puff. I mean, <laughs> very, you know, very good uh, career. So we actually just had Nicholas Cage in here last week. Mm -hmm. Nicholas Cage was in here? Yes. He's really? To come back. Yeah, <laughs> Did he buy anything? Uh, no, he came close to buying that King Kong costume. Yep. Just How long was he in here? Uh, 20 minutes or so. Did you get a picture with him? No, we, we like to just let them kind of do their thing. Yeah. Did anybody in the store notice Nicolas Cage is in the store? <laughs> Not, Not a all. single person? No. Who else has come in? We just had Robert Mukes recently. Yeah. I'll say not too long ago. Who's that? Uh, he played uh, Rufus in House of a Thousand Corpses. Oh, okay. Yeah. Big, big old guy, but very nice. Anybody else that you can think of? Um, let's see. Barbie Wilde from Hellraiser 2 mm -hmm. has been in here. The female Cenobite. Yep, she um, dropped in. Uh, it? We've had some musicians in here. Yeah, get a lot of musicians. Floating. Slash ever been in here? No, no, unfortunately not. Who's the biggest musician? Probably Lena Scissorhands from Infected Rain. She's probably got the most clout. We get Tyler from Reverse, uh, Falling in Reverse. He's their bass player. Uh, we get Rue Vox in here. She's like a pop singer, like kind of a little edgier pop. Did Nicolas Cage come in here by himself? No, he was in here with us. Yeah, he said he's coming back. Uh, yes, he said he wants that monkey suit. Yeah, he, he wants this monkey suit. suit. Let's check this thing out. He wants this monkey suit. Hey, Riley, Nicholas Cage was in here last week. I heard. Looking to buy this monkey suit. Wow. You know, he's in so many movies now, he probably wanted it for one of his upcoming movies. He wanted it for Halloween. He wants to wear it for Halloween, apparently. Yeah, you know, a lot of people who don't know Nicolas Cage is like he's big into Halloween and he has big Halloween parties at his house and he's a comic book collector and the whole yeah. shebang. Although somebody sold a bunch of his comics. Yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah. So let's check out the store here. The uh, These air fresheners yes, sir. are really popular. Mm -hmm. Which one's the most popular besides Michael Myers? Every question I ask has to be besides Michael Myers. Um, I would say Captain Spaulding was popular, or the Clown was popular, uh, Chucky, Billy the Puppet from Saw. Yeah, Billy the Puppet was popular. Billy the Puppet from Saw, or just Billy from Silent, or Dead Silence. Yeah, from Dead Silence. That was a great movie. That was like uh, Wong's first like movie. Mm -hmm. And he also made Saw, and then now he's making Aquaman, and yep. uh, whatever. And he made Fast and Furious, where Paul Walker died. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the guys had... A He's world, a great career. Yeah, and he loves horror. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he just did that new movie with the doll. Yeah, Megan. Yeah, I think he was just the producer, but boy, does he love horror. Yeah. Is is the pop pops the most popular thing? Period. Yes and no. It's come to a point to where it's oversaturated, so people want like the exclusives. Hmm. Uh, so just the standard pop, just because they're everywhere. Riley, these are cool here. They said these are uh, mystery bags. You never know what you're gonna get. I might have more questions. Can you guys not go anywhere? Like, no, you know, don't leave the cash. <laughs> so let's see what else they have in here. Oh, they have tea. Both like different characters. There's Disney's Haunted Mansion. Corpse's Bride. Oh, Mars Attacks. Love it. What do you think, Riley? Pretty cool. Goms of toys. And I mean goms of toys. Look at these. These are all cool. Look at that. I can tell you, if I come here, there's very little chance that I could leave without buying something. Look at that. Lectangular... box cover. I have not seen this. Wow, I gotta look into that. We got an alien toy down here. It comes with a lot of cool stuff. The problem is when you buy these toys, you never take them out of the box. You can't play with them. You gotta buy two. Look at these. Universal characters, Son of Frankenstein, Mars Attacks. Lots and lots of toys. So if you're in the 
haunted attraction business and you want to open a haunted retail store, I mean, come here. The Fog. Great movie. Another John Carpenter classic. More purses. Bride of Frankenstein. Michael Myers. Uh, tombstone purse. That's pretty cool. And look at all these toys. That must be new, because I've never seen that. Yeah, it says new in store. American Werewolf in London. It's like the Nazi guy. Mortal Kombat masks. Michael Myers knives. Look at this. Terrifier. Holy cow, who's that from? Trick or Treat Studios. Very cool. Very nice. House of a Thousand Corpses, like, that's like a set for like all the characters. And look at the clown head. And look at all the masks, like they have everything. And of course, Jason. And I don't know where this came from. Look at that, Jason. It's from NECA. Wow. Very nice. In the box. I did not know that existed. And this is the movie Haunt. And all the masks. And there's the pinhead mask. That is a very nice mask. And that would be uh, the wolf from Dracula. Of course, you gotta know what this is. That is uh, the Toxic Avenger. So many masks. And you'll notice as well that they have a lot of costumes. And you see it's mostly zombies. Oh, and that's probably the big one this year. It's gonna be like Wednesday. They don't have a lot of costumes, but they have a few. And let's look over here. Whoa, where did this come from? It's like the boat. It's a bottle opener. Check that out. That is really cool. <laughs> and then the lunch boxes. Hmm. <sighs> Scream masks scream costumes and their scream himself now see one of the things too that I would suggest if you're opening your own retail store is that you you do something like this in your store people want to see that take one of the costumes out put it on a mannequin put it on display and look at this I'm starting to get the hint here that the most popular costume is um, Ghostface, and that's from a company called Fun World. Uh, you can buy that from uh, Morris Costumes. And they have some Batman stuff, and they have some Godzilla. Oh, you get uh, four monsters. Oh, look at that, you get King Ghidorah. Oh, I've never seen this one. He's really a minor monster that gets in a fight with uh, like baby Godzilla. Yes, I love that movie. That is cool. And then, if this wasn't enough, look at this. Look at these badass little talking, chunky, bright Chucky dolls. Silent Hill, Creep Show, more Creep Show dolls, Silent Hill nurses. Pool party masker. And what do we got here? Now these are cool. These Frankenberry and Count Chocolates, uh, they are really cool. They're very cool. And then they got the Count Chocula. And then they have uh, these giant uh, Chucky dolls, life sized. And then they have all these like cool dolls from the old Hammer movies. And here's more. 
the reptile. Young Frankenstein down there. And look at this. Mummy, Wolfman, Young Frankenstein, the fly. Frankenstein, I didn't even know they had that. I think that's some old horror DVDs. And look at this, Riley. Stockings and pumpkin carving. Look at the stockings. And then look at all the uh, the uh, old uh, horror DVDs. People still want them. And they got albums. Then here is uh, the second section. And all of the masks and the t-shirts, more Funkos, and they're selling in here autographs of different characters. And here's your favorite rally, Dewey, from Scary Movie. And there you go. And I love 80s horror. And then this would be, and I'm trying to remember what his name is, but like Johnny Depp portrayed him in a movie. He's a famous Vegas guy who wrote a book and he killed himself. And then Johnny Depp shot his ashes out of a cannon <laughs> because that was his last wish. There's Tony Todd's autograph. Wow, the nun. Look at that t-shirt, my God, that's awesome. Long live Halloween. Beetlejuice creep show. I mean, it's just like the t-shirts go on forever. And they even have full moon. The Shadow's Curse. Candyman. Linda Blair artwork. And then they have their own branded artwork as well. T-shirts, I mean. Nightmare Toys t-shirts. I love 90s horror. And golly, maybe somebody can leave a comment below. What is that guy's name? I'm trying to remember what his name is. What's this guy's name here? Uh, Hunter S. Thompson. That's right, Hunter S. Thompson. Mm -hmm. Johnny Depp played him in a yeah. movie. Yeah, exactly. played him twice. Yeah. Because they did The Rum Diaries, yep. which is where he met his famous wife, they had, they had the big lawsuit over. Yep, yep. So Johnny Depp played that character twice. Uh, the first movie was really weird. And it, I think it was called Fear and Loathing Las Vegas. And then the second one he made was called Rum Diaries. And I, these are based on books that he wrote. And this was a really good friend of Johnny Depp's. He is, uh, I believe he committed suicide. Is what I believe happened to him. And we're going to walk over and check out the, we'll be right back. We're going to go check out your restaurant. And look at that, They're, they got TVs playing horror movies up there. And they got these like really awesome murals. But let's go check out the restaurant. And the first thing that catches my attention is that awesome canopy up there it's like murals and you can't miss that let's go check out the nightmare cafe look at what you got here and we have uh, some characters some murals, some TVs. Look, you got characters up there. You got a skull, Chucky, you got masks. And look at the uh, the hallway, I guess, to the bathroom. You got this like beautiful like mural of a creature, Black Lagoon. You've got some autographs of some characters. The bathrooms are painted. And look at the bathroom. Murals in the bathroom. Critters, Poltergeist, Puppet Master, Halloween 3, Scream, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Creature and Black Lagoon. For those people who actually don't think that I know horror, I mean, come on, I just named them all off like with ease. Um, and then if we come down here, 
we're gonna see more murals and then we have over here another bathroom and then uh, Tony Todd's autograph $160 now the, the Beetlejuice doesn't have an autograph and there you have it nightmare toys with look at this now that's interesting right there look at the clocks and it's just littered with Halloween decor look at that a blood alcohol somebody actually sells those and there you go murals everywhere leprechaun So there you have it, folks. And we got Predator, Killer Clowns, huh? Puppet Master, Critters, Annabelle. See, I know my whore. Anyway, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's just a, something I think you're supposed to say, I guess. Uh, and watch that video because, I mean, and share this video with other haunted house owners or people who want to open retail stores because that's how you really learn how to get in this business is by visiting these places and seeing, and seeing what they're selling, asking them questions, and learning from their mistakes, if possible. And you know one other thing I'll tell you about this store right here is if we come over here, you'll notice they tell you all the companies that they're buying from, mostly. Pumpkin Pulp, Super 7, Full Moon, Miron, Terror Threads, Rock Rebel, Funko, Black uh, Craft, Cult. Uh, we did a video, and it's about our Salem. It's when we went to tour Salem. They have a huge store there. Trick or Treat Studios. Factory Entertainment, NECA, Halloween Shirt Company, and there you go. Riley, what was your favorite thing in there? Uh, the masks. The masks? Which yeah. masks? I like the robot from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> the robot from Scooby-Doo. So there we go. Another video. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, I basically sell stuff in there that I didn't know existed, so now I'm going to have to look into it. And the biggest takeaway, I think, was about those uh, mystery bags. I think we're going to have to, like, get those. Um, until next time, we are going to be doing more haunted house tours. Um, and we are going to be going um, and seeing more behind-the-scenes tours of haunted houses. And we're going to some cool places, like, all summer long. So make sure you follow along, and we're going to just keep on trying to educate the haunted house industry. Until then, peace. Peace out. Here at Nightmare Toys. Viva Las Vegas. <laughs>